Swamp Brain! Let's go! My checklist is complete and I'm ready to go. <laughs> it looks like Duke and Tess are raring to go too. We're here! Oh! Wow, they got here fast. Let me guess, you're excited about the camping trip too? So, so, so excited. Rev has been telling me all about it. We can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Great, we're ready to roll. Now, where did I put that map? <laughs> map? We don't need a map. We can find our campsite in the dark with our eyes closed. We sure could if we were going to the old campsite, but this year we thought we'd try a new campsite. Wait, what? Why? Well, we've gone there so many times. Our old campsite was wonderful, but maybe the new one will be even better. But I really wanted Avery to see the old campsite. What if the new one isn't as fun? What if it's boring? Well, we won't know until we get there. Come on, you two. We're burning daylight. I know you liked your old campsite, Rev, but your parents are right. Think of all the fun places we can discover together. Thanks, Avery. But there's just no way any place could be better than our old campsite. It was perfect. <laughs> you go explore while we set up camp. Yeah, that's a great idea. What do you say, Rev? Yeah, I guess. Thanks, Mom. <sighs> Whoa, Rev! 
Check out this huge rock. I mean, it's huge and it's rocky. I have never seen such a rocky huge rock before. I mean, feel it. It's so solid. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's a wonder, all right. Aw, come on, Rev. You wanted to make this the best camping trip I've ever had, right? But it doesn't stand a chance if I can't even make my best bud laugh. I mean, come on! It's me we're talking about! I'm hilarious! <sighs> Sorry, Aves, but it's just not the same as my old campsite. I had so many cool things I wanted to show you, and now I don't. Rev, I know you're disappointed, but you can try something new and find out that you love it, even though it's different. Yeah, I guess. Maybe you're right. I'm always right. Allie and I are gonna go see the sights. You can sit here and mope if you want to, or you can come with us. Fine, we'll come with you. Good, that's great. But do me a favor, try to keep up, okay? Keep up? Oh, you bet we will! Just watch us keep up! <laughs> Works every time. <laughs> We're having some fun now, am I right? Yeah, it's not so bad. way to the campsite. It's just over... Uh, no. I mean, it, it's right near... Huh. Actually, I'm not sure. A.K.A. Lost. Uh, at least we have our watches. Mom? Dad? Can you hear me? Loud and clear, hon. You two coming back soon? We have a surprise waiting for you. We'd love to come back, but the thing is... We're lost. I got Rev to smile, though. What? No. I never got lost at the old campsite. Sometimes getting lost is good for you. You in a safe place? Yeah, we are. Good. I could tell you how to find us, but you can figure it out on your own with a little perspective. What does that mean? Call us if you need us, but be back before we eat all the s'mores. Ooh, take your time, kids. <laughs> Bye. S'mores? Oh, man, we have to get back there. And fast. <laughs> Do you really think your parents will eat all the s'mores? <gasps> the s'mores, that's it. Come on, Aves, we have to climb higher. Uh, okay, if you say so. Hey, look. Your tower! That'll be perfect! But how's this gonna help us find the campsite? The first thing my mom and dad do after setting up the tents is start a campfire. And if we're up high enough, we'll see the smoke. Oh, I get it. A little perspective. <laughs> Good dad joke. Waterfall, and there's the trail, and there's the smoke from the campfire. All we have to do now is hit that trail and follow it all the way back to the campsite. Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, this park is amazing. We saw a waterfall and a swimming hole with a rope.
rope swing in this really tall ranger tower with an awesome ramp? And that's how we saw the campfire, right? Sounds like you had fun. It was so cool. I can't wait to show you all the places we found. <laughs> hey, you do need to share those. <laughs> so, this new campsite is okay? It's better than okay. Sure, I'll miss our old campsite, but discovering new places and making new memories is even better. Right, Avery? <sighs> Best camping trip ever. Uh... Oh, um, I mean, it'll do. Didn't need them all. <laughs> You two. Duke and I have a busy day, starting with trucking this hay down to the pasture. Let's get a move on, Duke. We're burning daylight. <sighs> I want to be just like my dad when I grow up. We're burning daylight. Huh? Look, my dad must have forgotten his gloves. Hmm. <laughs> Um, hi, Rev. Drop of the morning to you. You must be thirsty after all that work. I made you some lemonade and coffee for Dad. Ugh, thanks, Molly. Just coffee for me. Black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was nice of you to help Dad and Duke. They have a long list of chores to do today. Really? What kind of chores? Oh, yeah! These chores are right up my alley. We'll tackle these right away. Oh, oh yeah. <coughs> that's, uh, that's some good coffee. How's it going there, kids? Whoa! Huh? Uh... uh. uh. <laughs> Kids? Why are you talking like that? Him walking like that. <gasps> are you okay, Rev? Do you have to go to the bathroom? Of course I'm okay. Just me being me. Right, Big Rumble? <laughs> uh, nice seeing y'all, but Big R and I have a lot of chores to tackle. And we're burning daylight. Whoa, hold your horsepower. It's apple harvest time. We were just getting geared up to go help out down at the orchard. It's gonna be a blast! Just like last year, remember? <sighs> I sure do, Lori. Those were good times. The innocent days of youth. What? But, uh, Big R and I have other work to do. And there's nothing on our list about having fun. Let's get a move on, Rumble. <laughs> What was that all about? According to Dad's list, we need to move all of these rocks to the other side of the quarry. <laughs> no problem. Right, Big Rumble? What? Maybe we need to lift them one at a time. Oh, man! Oh, boy, this is tough. It could take us all day, which is bad because, you know, 
Burning daylight. Tell you what, let's try the next job. <laughs> Here we go, Rumble. Next thing on the list, haul away this fallen tree. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay, now take her away, Big R. <laughs> it's moving. Give it all you got, Rumble. <laughs> Uh, well, it's a good start. One branch down and, uh, lots more to go. Huh. Let's try the next job. Next thing on Dad's list, straighten up the pier. No problem. <laughs> this job is half done already. There's only one box left. Get it in gear! Yes! You got it! <sighs> oh, boy. Let's face it, buddy. They haven't been able to handle even one of the jobs on the list. Oh. <sighs> I guess I'll never be like Dad. up? We need some serious rev magic here. What would Dad and Duke do? Hmm. <laughs> we'll just shake the tree and the apples will fall right into Tipper's bucket. But who's strong enough to shake a whole tree? Watch and learn, kids. Um, those ideas don't sound like Rev ideas to me. <laughs> Just saying. What? Those are perfectly good ideas. If you're strong enough. All right, that's enough. What is wrong with you today? Yeah, Rev. Since when do you walk around and talk in a deep voice going, We're burning daylight! We're burning daylight! And why are you wearing gloves? Are your hands cold? <sighs> it's because I want to be more like my dad. And Rumble was trying to be more like Duke. <laughs> They're both so cool. That's why we couldn't help you with the apples. We were trying to finish my dad's list of chores. But we couldn't, because we're not like them. Oh, so that's what this is all about. Uh-huh. We think your dad and Duke are amazing too, Rev. There's no one like them. But there's no one like you either. Hi, Rev. Hi, Dad. <laughs> nice gloves. Uh... <sighs> hey, why the long face, buddy? Well... It's because I've been trying to be like you all day. Hmm. And do things the way you do. I want to help pick all these apples, but I can't even do that. What? I'm not very good at being you. Rev, why try to be me when you're so great at being you? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Everyone has a gift and their own special way of getting things done. 
your gift is up here. You need to do things your way, not my way. But whatever you do, you better do it fast because... We're burning daylight! Okay, Rev. Think. Think, think, think! <gasps> Rumble, you just gave me a great idea! Here, Dad. I don't need these anymore. It's time for some Rumble power! Lock me in, buddy! Come on, Rumble. Let's get you into gear. Your way! Come on! We can't do this all by ourselves! Get popping! Okay, we should probably go. <laughs> A lost kitten! Oh no! Don't worry, Lori. The kitten is safe and sound back at the gear up garage. It's the owner who's lost. But not for long. We're putting up these lost kitten posters all over town. Lori, are you a tipper on a delivery? to the scrapyard, but we've got time to help if you need it. Anything for a kitten named Mittens. Great! The more help, the better! Go! Owen, do you read me? I repeat, go! Uh, we're here! Bo and Spritzer reporting! <laughs> wow, you guys are fast! Operation Kitten Care Crew, we need to split up and cover the whole town. Let's find Mittens owner! Any questions? She's just so cute! <laughs> 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 Walk in, Rubble! Let's grab and roll! Kitten. Hey, oh, oh. 
Mitten, Mitten. Wham! Last kick. Shut up. Oh. Sorry, Tipper. Woohoo! We did it. Great work, everyone. I'm sure Mitten's owner will be here any second. Until then, we should all practice our hero speeches. Oh, please. It was nothing at all. Happy to help. Returning lost kittens is kind of my specialty. Oh, no. Rev? Mittens is gone! What? You mean now we've got a lost kitten who's actually lost? Excuse me. Did you find my kitten? Yeah! <gasps> really? <clears throat> I mean, we did find your kitten, but then we kind of, um, lost her. Oh, no! She got out again? She's not used to being outside. Oh, I miss my little kitten. Don't worry. We've got the best search team ever. We'll find mittens for you. I promise. Rev, mittens could be anywhere by now. Don't worry, Aves. We'll find her. Street is clear. Avery, you check North Avenue. Bo, take South Avenue. Everyone else, spread out, and we'll meet at the edge of town. Keep your eyes open, buddy. Mittens! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! Still no sign of Mittens, Rev. And we don't have much time left. Oh, no! Poor Mittens! A kid lost in the dark is not good! <sighs> It's okay. We just need to think. <laughs> Whoop, Rumbo. What did you find? Huh? Mittens was here? <gasps> Mittens went that way. Yes. Good work, you two. Follow that yard. <laughs> Kitty, kitty, kitty. Mittens, where are you? Oh, Mittens. Hello. Here, kitty cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Mittens. Oh, no, it's a dead end. Oh, oh. Here. You stopped just in time. Where are we? Hey, guys, I found more yard. She must have chased the yarn and got stuck down there. Oh, no! Poor Mittens! Don't worry, Lori. Don't worry, Mittens! We're here to help! Operation Kitten Care just turned into Operation Rescue! Yeah! Mom, Dad, do you read me? We're here, Rev. How's the search going? Did you find the kitten? Yeah, she's stuck on a ledge. Hang tight, Rev. We're coming to help. <sighs> uh oh, that sounds like a rock slide. We should take cover. What about mittens? Rev, what do we do? There's not enough time to wait for my mom and dad. We've got to do something now. Yeah, but what? Hurry, Rev. Think of something. Uh... I've got it. Tipper, Lori, we need to use those wooden pallets. For what? We're gonna build a shield. That's it, Rumble. Okay, everyone. I'm here to...
to save you. Rock slide. Rev! Rumble! Can you hear us? Mittens? Is Mittens okay? Um, did anyone lose a kitten? <coughs> oh, mittens! <coughs> Is everyone okay? All good! Yeah, hey, okay! I'm good! Yeah, thanks, Mom! Oh. Oh, I missed you so much! Thank you, Rev. Oh, <laughs> don't thank me. Thank Operation Rescue. Mitten <laughs> <laughs> says thank you, too. <laughs> Seriously? No hero speech? Nah, Mittens did most of the work. That's one tough little kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Colossal Fossil! Whoa! Check out all the fossils! <laughs> Look! Over here! A trial bite! Oh, that is awesome! When I was young, I used to find loads of fossils just outside of town. Huh? Do you mean we've been living next to fossil-finding territory this whole time? <laughs> this skeleton was found just ten minutes away. And now it's in a museum. Wow! That was found here in Fenderbend? Why doesn't anyone tell me these things? Oh. Wait! What if there are more? Hmm, there could be. Thanks, Mom! Gotta go! See you later! Have fun! <laughs> you won't believe this! It's incredible! Amazing! Unbelievable! So tell us already! I just found out that there are fossils right outside of town! <gasps> Real fossils? What? Dinosaur fossils? <gasps> wow! What if we found a whole new dinosaur? They call it Tyrannosaurus Rev. I don't know about that. But we need to go fossil hunting. Oh, yeah. You bet. Let's do it. We could put our dinosaur right outside the gear up garage. The whole town would come and see it. And we'd be fossil hunting heroes thrown all over the world. Hey, T-Rev. Are we going to go dinosaur hunting or what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good fossil finding spot, right, Spritz? that real dinosaur hunters do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dino hunters. Let's start digging. Right here.
So that's where it went. I've been looking all over for that. <laughs> Aww. This isn't a soccer ball. It's a fossilized dinosaur egg from an ancient soccer ball is Oenomus. Here I was kicking it around like a regular old soccer ball. I wonder what else is out there. Though it was small, it had a mighty ally in the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Because it kept T-Rex's tiny hands so warm. <laughs> Another Globopteryx! A perfect match for the first one! Now they can be together forever. <laughs> <laughs> to sit on after a long day of dinosaur hunting. <laughs> we sure found a lot of stuff. Yep, but no dinosaur bones. Uh, are you sure about that, Rev? Because that kind of looks like a dinosaur bone. <gasps> oh, my ears! Mom, I think you might want Huh. <gasps> hmm. <gasps> Incredible. Well, what is it, Mom? I think you might have found a dinosaur bone. <gasps> yes! <Yeah! laughs> now let's get digging for the rest of the skeleton! <laughs> Hold your horsepower. You can't just start digging. We can't? Why not? Because a lot of care has to go into recovering the bones so nothing gets damaged. <sighs> but we can be really, really careful. Can't we, guys? Sure. Total. Uh huh. Super careful. <laughs> I'm sorry, kids. You made a wonderful discovery, but we're gonna have to leave the rest of the experts. But after they put the whole skeleton together, we get to keep it, right? And put it outside the gear-up garage? No? We, we can't even keep it? Rev, something this special belongs in a museum where it will be protected and where everyone can enjoy it. Aww. And then we can go see it there together. That'll be fun, right? Okay, Mom. That sounds great. We'll get to see it at the museum in a few weeks. More like a year. A year? Or two. <sighs> Still, it's cool that we'll get to go see our dinosaur in a real museum. Right, guys? Sure. Very cool. Great. Can't wait. said it could take a whole year until our dinosaur is in the museum. And there's 365 days in a year and 24 hours in a day, so if we add it all up, uh, uh, how many hours do we have to wait? Rev, face it. It's gonna be a long time before we get to see that skeleton. Really long. Like, forever almost. <laughs> But I can't wait that long. Ah, sure you can, Rev. You just need to keep busy and time will fly by. Zoom, zing, zing away. Oh, oh, I know. We could start by hauling all that messy junk down to the scrapyard. Great idea, Lori. What do you say, Rev? Time for some rumble power? Wait a minute. Does this look like a dinosaur skull to you guys? Oh! Yeah! Totally! Does to me! Yeah! Looks like a skull! And if we can't put a real dinosaur outside the garage, maybe we can build our own dinosaur instead! Rev, that might be your greatest idea ever! <laughs> Before we 
start, we need to think like real dinosaur hunters. Right. We've just dug up all these dinosaur bones, and now we have to put them together. These could be dinosaur hands. Super useful if our dinosaur needs to change a tire. <laughs> these are his feet. They make him the fastest dinosaur around. Nothing can catch him. <laughs> Let's get to work! Dinosaur hunters with their amazing new discovery. The Scrapasaurus Rex! Everyone, say Dino Rumble Power! Dino Rumble Power! A gift for Molly. Just. You do remember what day it is, don't you? It's Mother's Day! The best day of the year! The one day when everyone in town gets money! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but no! No buts. The only butt you should be thinking about is getting your butt over to the Wild Wheel and Stunt Park! Because it's filled with mud and Get to drive in it! <laughs> it is gonna be off the chain. Like, meow! Yeah! I know it's Mother's Day, but it's also my mom's birthday. And I need to get her a present right away. Oh, why didn't you say so? Yeah, what are you doing standing around talking to us? Get gone already! We'll see you at the Wild Wheel and Sun Park! <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Rumble. If we hurry, we can get Mama present and go get totally muddy. Woo, woo. <sighs> Look, Rumble. See the ribbon? It's just like the one my mom had when she was little. <laughs> She's gonna be so surprised. Best birthday present ever. <laughs> Huh? Clothes for Mother's Day? Oh no! I need a gift for my mom! It can't be closed! What are we gonna do, Rumble? <laughs> Great idea, buddy! We'll go to the stunt park, find Mr. Wilson, and ask him to open the shop for us! Let's grab and roll! Huh? Look at them rumble. So much mud. Mr. Wilson? Hey, 
Hey there, Rev. I hope you're on your way to get muddy. <laughs> this is our favorite day of the year. Yeah, it's ours too. Can you open your shop again? Today's my mom's birthday, and I really want to get her this ribbon. Well, I'll be. It's just like the one in my window. That's awfully sweet of you, Rev. Let's get cleaned up and go get that ribbon. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, my. Ooh. <laughs> Covered in... <laughs> be right with you. Don't want to track mud all through my shop. <laughs> this shouldn't take too long. <gasps> I've got an idea. We can get you cleaned up in no time. Follow us. Sure thing, Rev. Trust me, this'll be faster. Great idea, blast away. Whoa, yes, that was definitely faster. <laughs> Refreshing too. Thanks, Rev. You're squeaky clean, Mr. Wilson. I'll put this hose away and then we'll meet you at your shop. Sounds good. I'll be there until the closing ceremonies. It won't be long now, Rumble. We'll grab Mom's gift, then be up to our eyeballs in Mutter's Game Mud! <laughs> Rev, where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere! Mutter's Day is amazing! You have got to get over there! I know, but I haven't gotten my Mom's birthday present yet. <sighs> oh, well, you gotta do that. Mothers come first, always. <laughs> Wait, since you have the hose out, do you mind cleaning us up a bit? What? Why? so we can get muddy all over again. Oh, it's so much fun! That first big mud splash is the best! Okay, Rumble, go power up the car wash for Ellie. Let's make this quick. Enforcements. Calling all car washers. Please report to the gear up garage on the double. Gen 4! On our way! Out and clear! Huh? You guys are the best. Trump <laughs> power! Yeah! Ralph, Tipper and I have the soapy bubbles ready. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Okay, car wash team, let's clean up this town. All right, Crash, punch it! Guys, you know, it's times like these where you find out who your friends really are and need to take the time to take a long look around and really appreciate all the crap. What are you waiting for? Oh, great, Mom's gift. Okay, you're the best. Gotta go. See you soon. Oh, no, Rumble. The shop's closed. And the ribbon, it's gone. I'm too. 
too late. What am I going to give my mom now? Her birthday's ruined. <sighs> Mr. Wilson must have gone to the Mother's Day closing ceremonies. Looks like we missed out on that, too, eh, Rumble? <sighs> Let's go tell Mom. Thank you, everyone, for the incredible turnout this year. I think this was our best, biggest, and muddiest Mother's Day yet. <laughs> we also owe a very special thanks to Rev, Rumble, and their friends. Rev, huh? could you come up here, please? Uh... <laughs> Creating the car wash was a wonderful idea, Rev. And as a token of our thanks, we'd like to present you with this Mother's Day trophy. Yeah! <laughs> oh, and if you look inside, you'll find a little something from me. No way! Thanks, Mr. Wilson. Mom! I have a birthday present for you. You do? Close your eyes and hold out your hand. <laughs> okay, you can open them now. <gasps> oh, it's just like the one you had when you were little. Do you like it? Oh, Rev, I, I. I think that's a yes. Here, Maul, let me help you with that. Happy birthday to the best mom in the world. Thank you, Rev, so much. I'm sorry you missed Mother's Day. It's okay. You're worth it. I can wait until next year. Why wait until next year to get muddy when you can get muddy now? <laughs> no way! Yes way! Mother's Day isn't over yet! Let him have it! Yeah! <laughs> Mother's Day is awesome! Lights, camera, action! All right, movie makers! The Fender Bend Film Festival is coming up, and we have a movie to make! But they seem to like my cologne. Cologne? You mean like that smelly stuff my dad puts on? Yep. It's the same kind my grandpa wears. It's called Karate Chop! Hiya! It smells cool. And when I put it on, it makes me feel like a hero. A hero, huh? Ever considered starring in your own movie? <laughs> <laughs> Me? No. No, 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 never. Uh, I mean, once or twice. <laughs> Actually, every day after school, we pretend we're superheroes. Let that spritzer! Well, that settles it. For the Fender Man Film Festival, we're gonna make Blitz and Spritzer meet the. Uh. <laughs> the alien vehicles! Oh, can I be a superhero too? I want a cool lightning bolt on my costume! Sure, uh, you can be Bolt! Whoa! A and Lori, you can be Blaze, the super sidekicks! Oh, oh, I'll make the costumes! Cakes for everyone! Rev and I can be the directors! Tipper, Crash, and Alan can be the alien vehicles! <laughs> And Rumble can be the camera truck. I think this is going to be our best movie yet. Lights, camera, action! Wow, I can't believe we get to be the star of an actual movie. It's a dream come true. Okay, everyone, let's get started. This is the beginning of the movie. It's a quiet morning in a quiet field on a quiet farm. A little too quiet. <laughs> Suddenly, a bunch of aliens attack. Psst, that's you guys. Let's practice it 
first to get it right. Then we'll record it, okay? Ready? And action! Ah! Ix! Oh, no! Alien bees are attacking the planet! We are goners for sure, I tell you. <laughs> Not on my watch. Say hello to my special move. That's regular. What's Cut! Oh, that sprinkler move was amazing. Except save it until the end, okay? Cause you're not blitz until later in the story. Remember? All oh, right. Oh, sorry. Eh, I guess I'm just a bit too excited. Oh, that's okay. We were just practicing. Rumble's camera wasn't even recording you yet. Um, yes it was. See? Hey, what's wrong, Bo? I'm just a little bit camera shy, I guess. But you looked amazing. Well, when it's just you guys watching me, I don't mind. But when I know that someone is recording me... That can happen when you're nervous. It's called stage fright. Bo won't even be on a stage. He'll be in a movie for everyone to see. Problem solved. <laughs> don't worry, Bo. Maybe just, uh, don't look at the camera? You'll be fine. Don't be nervous, Bo. Take your time. All right, place with everyone. Let's try this again. How was that? Um, not bad. I have an idea. Why don't we try an easier scene? Just to get you used to the camera. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. This scene is super easy. Avery is the mysterious shopkeeper who gives you the cologne. <laughs> right, right. And I slap some on it. Don't look at the camera. Do not look at the camera. Ugh. Okay, I'm ready. And action! Uh, he's looking at the camera. It's okay, Bo. Just keep going. You walk up to Avery and ask her about the cologne. Here you go, my last bottle of ancient superpower packed cologne. Take it. Take the bottle. And now, all you have to do is slap some on, and a superhero is born. Okay. Cut. Cut up. I did it again, didn't I? Uh-huh. Are you sure you want to do this, Bo? I can do this. I can be an action star. Let's try one more scene. Sorry, guys. I really want to do this, but every time I see the camera, my hands get sweaty and my heart beats fast, and I <sighs> get nervous and so afraid. Everyone gets afraid, Bo, but you can't let that stop you from doing something you love. I love to sing, but I get so nervous when I sing in front of people. Really, Lori? Well, what do you do? I just close my eyes and think of something happy. Then I don't feel nervous anymore. Mmm, ice cream. Ah, happy place. Playing so.
superheroes with spritzer makes me happy. And my grandpa's cologne makes me feel brave. <sighs> I think this movie's ready for some blitz and spritzer action. Now, turn on that camera and let's do this thing. <laughs> I can do this! brave. And facing your fears is one of them. Thanks, Rev. Go on, you two. Stand up and take a bow. Hooray! 